Now, see, look at this point. 
can represent okay. so let's just plot this point first and then for the uh, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 negative 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 see you have to draw all these points on your graph paper you have to collect graph paper from the nearby stationery okay single graph paper which is one also there and one booklet also uh, there okay you have to purchase a graph paper okay and on that graph paper you have to plot all this part okay now minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six uh one two three four five six okay now the first point is five comma zero this one represents the x one this one represents the y one x axis point five x five over the now y zero so y zero again over zero only okay so y zero so this point is five and zero remember that axis has a point like an axis has the y coordinate is always zero a point lies on a coordinate that x axis is zero okay no the next one is the zero five see zero and five y axis point is 5, so y axis point is 5, x axis point is 0, so this point is 0, 5, okay, now the next one is 2, 5, x axis point is 2 and y axis point is 5, so over here, so y axis point is this two. What is the point of our graph? 2 comma 5 2 comma 5 Okay, now 5 comma 2 5 comma 2 So x axis point 5 x axis point 5 Okay, and y axis point 2 So y axis point 2 So let me extend this one And go over perpendicular over here It means 5, 4, 2 over here. If you draw this graph in your graph paper, you will easily identify. Okay, because I don't have a graph paper, such a big graph paper, so I, I want able to just plot this point correctly over here. Okay, this is a nearby point. Okay, now minus 3 and 5. Minus 3 and 5. X axis minus 3 and y axis minus 5. See, my x axis minus y axis positive. It means my second quadrant. Now, minus 3 and minus 3 and plus 5. Somewhere over here. So minus 3 and plus 5. No. Again, minus 3 minus 5. Ah, x axis is negative, y axis also negative, it means my fourth quadrant. So this one and this one. Somewhere up on here, minus 3, minus 5. No. 5 and minus 3, x equals to 5. And minus 3, it means my fourth quadrant. This both are negative, it means third one. The fourth one is plus 5 and minus 3. So, so over here, plus 5, minus 3. Now, uh, plus 6 and plus 1. Plus 6 and plus 1. Y axis is 1. So, again, over here, Somewhere over here, so section one. This way we can plot this point on a uh, on a coordinate uh, coordinate plane. Okay.
Now, see, all these points are small, small. Okay, so we can easily manage it. What if these points uh, should be given like in the form, say, uh, twenty and ten, uh, forty and thirty, minus uh, twenty and forty. Minus ten, minus twenty. Okay. If the points are given like this way, what we are going to do? Okay, say minus plus twenty minus ten. So what I can do? One, two, three, four, five, six, up to forty. See, your graph paper is very small. Okay, you were not able to locate all this point on that point. But what we are going to do? We see the question says the distance should be equal. Here we have we have made a one centimeter distance. So can I take a one instead of one centimeter a ten centimeter distance? Okay, one unit is equal to ten centimeter. See while right uh, plotting the graph, you have to mention a scale. Okay, scale. Scale it is x axis. And y axis. Scale represents the measurement. See, measurement it means what we have taken over here. X axis. Yeah, x axis. It means in your graph paper. See this graph paper. There are dark lines over here. Okay, there are dark lines. So this one dark line box represents. One unit. This, what represents this dark line box? A single box represents a one unit. One unit. Okay. In that dark box, there are ten lines. Or see, you might get two kind of graph papers. A, a box containing a ten lines or a box containing a five lines. Okay. Now. See, this box either contains five lines or a ten lines. There, and see. So each line represents some numbers. Okay, each line represents number. So one unit. This box complete represents one unit. See, one unit. So I'm, this one is my first box for the graph paper. Okay, so this one is the near by the second one graph paper. Third one, fourth one. Okay, so now we can work it. See, this one is my first box, first complete box, and I have told you that this first complete box I'm making. This one is the one unit. One unit it is one box there. So this box distance. What is the box distance? See, I have taken a one centimeter. So this one is the one centimeter. From the x-axis and one centimeter from the y-axis. So one unit. See this box, this complete box measurement is one unit only. So one unit equals to how many centimeters I have taken? This distance I have taken one centimeter distance equals to one centimeter. Similarly, this complete box it is one unit only. One unit only. I have taken this distance in a centimeter. Which centimeter? Zero to one. That is one centimeter distance. So, to plot in the graph, we have to represent this scale also. Okay? Why we have to represent this scale? Because we don't know that what this small box represents. Okay? Now, see. In this chapter. Uh, uh, if you did not mention scale, that is also okay. Okay, but in your uh, further classes, like and, and, uh, when you plot a graph, it is necessary to mention a scale. Okay, because there is a different different kind of measurements, uh, like centimeter, meter, kilogram, gram. Okay, meter. Okay, so to plot that graph, we require the measurement of scale. This tiny unit, one unit box represents who? One unit, one centimeter, one meter, 
1 kg 1 liter okay so that's why the scale daily is a very important now we get what more see 20 and 10 how we represent this one thus we write all the 40 numbers over here no what we are going to do we are just taking our scale small we just take it as a What do we have to do over here? See, instead of writing one, see this place we have to take the same if I am taking 1 centimeter, so each gap should be a 1 centimeter only. If I am taking this tiny unit as a 10 centimeter, okay, a 10 centimeter, so this is 10 to represent the distance 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, it is not there. So instead of writing 1, I am writing 10. Afterwards, this 0 to 1, this one is, this small unit is a 10 centimeter. Okay, so again this distance should be a 10. So add 10, we get it 20, we get it 30, we get it 40, we get it 50, we get it 60. Similarly, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, minus 50. After that, what we have to do over here, we just take our first day in a large portion. Okay, instead of taking the small tiny tiny units, one unit, like two units, we just uh, increase our unit units, we just increase our uh, uh, one unit box into a big, uh, big centimeters number. Then, then we can ever do with all these numbers. Now again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, now minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, Minus 40, minus 50. Now we can able to plot all these points. Yes. Now 20 and 10. X axis 20. Y axis 10. So again, 20 and 10. It is very easy. Now 20 and 30. X axis, uh, X axis 20. Y axis 30. So 20 and 10 is 30. Now x axis 40, y axis 30. So 40 and 30. x axis minus 20, y axis 40. So minus 20 and 40. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 10, minus 20 over here. Now 20 and uh, minus 30 we have already for that. Now so it will be easy. It is up to you how to represent all these x axis uh, numbers and x axis numbers. Okay. Now so uh, in your exercise 3.3, see 3.3. In which coordinate or on which axis do each of these points minus 2? Okay, then I will also find out it in there. It means, see the question number 1 says, in which coordinate this particular point lies. Okay. So, it means we have to remember that Y negative 1. Okay. So the 
You have to write it. Key means you have to pause the video and just draw this uh, this graph in your graph papers, and you have to identify which points are there. Okay, you have to write the point. It means see this Q x axis four and y axis two. Likewise, okay. So just pause the video and note it down in the solution. Write the coordinate. Point of each of them. Each of them. Now, and okay. So in this chapter, we have learned what is axis of coordinate, how to for plot a point on the coordinate planes. Okay. So and how to name this? Uh, how to write the points? Okay, all these things we have learned in this chapter, and this chapter is very easy. Okay, just use the uh, graph paper, so it, it will be easy to locate all the points. Okay, now thank you.